the Society for Vascular Surgery, uh, led by uh, immediate past presidents and current presidents, decided to uh, create a historic uh, interview uh, s series for those who have contributed to vascular surgery uh, in the United States and more recently the honorary members uh, from the international uh, community. Uh, led by uh, Dr. Jimmy Yao as our chairman, joined by other members. Uh, we have done more than 70 interviews now, and today uh, we have the great privilege and honor of interviewing uh, Dr. Uh, uh, we always call him Taki, so yeah. if you'll allow me to do that, oh, it's yeah, easier yes. just yeah, to say yeah, that yes. Ballas uh, easy to. <laughs> yeah, from Athens. <laughs> and uh, we're very honored to have you, uh, Professor Ballas, with us today. And I do want to acknowledge uh, that you aren't the most senior person we've interviewed because uh, Dr. Alan Callow and Dr. Ben Eisman actually were older than you are when uh, they yeah. were interviewed. So, yeah. uh, but we know the reason I bring up the age and the factor, we know yeah. you are one of the most experienced vascular surgeons uh, to be interviewed. So uh, we're extremely uh, grateful that Professor Ballas is here and will be interviewed today. Dr. Yao is with me, Dr. Gregory is with me, uh, so they'll chime in and answer, ask a few questions for you to answer we'll as well. We'll be very happy okay. to Okay. What we would appreciate it if you would just start off by telling us a little bit about your youth. It's always a good place to start, you know. Tell us about where you were born and your parents and yeah. so forth. Uh, I was born in Kalamata. Kalamata is in the southern part of Peloponnese. And by uh, brought up in Athens, my f father wa was a physician, and uh, my uncle also. So early on, I was thinking uh, to to study medicine. I was very keen to to become a physician. So I graduated in '53 from the medical school after serving two years in the army because of the problem that you have the communists. And then I entered in the internship in general surgery in '53, and uh, finished the specialty after six years in uh, the major academic clinic uh, in Greece, first surgical clinic of Athens University Medical School, under Professor Nicholas Christeas, who was pupil of uh, Leris. And it is a very interesting coincidence because at that time in 1938 in Strasbourg, in Lerry School was my mentor, Christeas, and my future mentor, Michael De Becke. Well, you know, we. So I have a picture of this group. On the right of Lerry's is my Greek professor, on the left, De Becke. This is a famous picture. Yes. That when I was raised, then, I studied extensively in the literature, and I was impressed with the achievements in cardiovascular surgery in the United States, especially in Houston, Texas. So I tried to, to get into to Houston. First, I got an appointment as a research fellow in the New England Medical Center with under Alan Carlow. I prepared my master's in science, in surgery, and then I was appointed clinical fellow in Houston, Texas. I was the first Greek to be accepted. And then I worked very hard because I, I fulfilled my dream. I felt very extremely happy to be among these giants. And so the baker liked me and so he gave me the privilege to be his first assistant. Special privilege for a foreigner, no qualified in America, and uh, to be his, he liked me also George Morris, and Don, then Don Cooley too, they liked me very much. When I finished, I came back in, in 63. So you had three years in Houston. Yeah. And I was the first Greek to introduce modern uh, vascular surgery in Greece. And I was very lucky, and, and uh, God helped me to perform the first major vascular operation for the first time in Greece, very successful. 
Did your former mentor help you get the position in the university when no, you returned? I, because I left as a resident and came back, and he gave me, and my mentor was impressed because he told me when I came back, Takis, Balas, be careful. If you fail doing this, these procedures, you will go back to Houston. <laughs> so be very careful. So <laughs> I was very careful and very happy and all successful. I made the first femoropopletal venous bypass, the first embolectomy of Fogarty's catheter, venous thrombectomy, <coughs> the first Leris, our to buy femoral bypass. And my professor would like to help me. <laughs> but he said, oh, it's very difficult for me. Go ahead. The first excision of abdominal aneurysm. And, f and finally, among the more spectacular cases, in 67, I did the first reimplantation of complete apuntate extremity in Europe. This, uh, in uh, the second, because the first was due in 62 in Mass General Hospital by Morton. Right. And, uh, but in my case, I, I have the provision because I develop a special audiovisual department. And uh, at six mo 6 30 in the morning, started the operation, and they had the, 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 the girl to take a, a color film of the whole procedure when the extremity was separated on the table. And, this, and I, I, they, they take film of all the procedure, and we follow up for seven years. And in 72, I present this film in the spectacular session of the American College of Surgeons in Atlantic City. Yeah. Yeah. And I had a stand ovation. Yeah. It was very impressive. And uh, those, these all things helped me very much for, me, for my academic career, actually. You know, let me just ask you a quick question about the replantation. Because one area that is of particular interest to me is the Venus uh, return, if you will. And uh, with the replantation, uh, did you repair the vein before the artery? Do you yes. remember, or did you repair the uh, artery first? First, the artery. Yeah. I have to notice that I was prepared to do this operation because uh, uh, two years before, I met uh, Dr. Horn, who was an orthopedic surgeon from England, who joined the communist uh, China. He left and he made there with his wife. And then he was chief of orthopedic surgeon in, Be in Beijing. So he was invited by the Chinese group, communist group of Greece, to give a lecture. So prof my professor said, go and be careful because the police is around. <laughs> be careful with, with the connection because at the time it was very anti-communistic, the, the feelings. So I went. I. I translate the lecture, he presented implantation, and after that we had a dinner, and he gave me many details. Yeah. So actually I was so prepared for this. I prepared first the artery, and when I start starting having back flow from the veins, then I did the uh, venous yeah. anastomosis. Yeah, no, well, thank you very much. We're yeah, glad to know yeah, that. Yes. You know, Professor Ballas, one of the reputations that you have uh, internationally uh, and probably in Greece too, is that you are the master organizer of international meetings and you have been responsible for so many meetings and there are many of us who have had the privilege of being with you in your country and uh, very impressed with your organization. When did you, uh, how did you develop the idea of having international meetings? Um, in Houston, I had the opportunity to meet many personalities from abroad. It was international center. So, and because of my character, I would like to communicate with the people and to try to improve things. And so I thought it was very important for our country and for our community, medical community and vascular to have people come in and to have conferences. So I decided to organize this. And one of the very important Congress, as you know, it was, first, first of all, I established Michael De Becky Society. Right. I, I have contacted a thousand people 
What year was that? About 1965? 1966. 66, okay. And uh, he organized uh, a congress, international congress of Michael De Becke Society in Athens. And I invited very important personalities. Uh, I, I invited Frank Spencer to give the, the main lecture, but he was, Frank was very busy. So I told De, De Becke, do you mind to, to, to ask Favaloro, so. uh, because uh, I didn't know what his relation with the Cleveland Clinic said. Yeah. I said, okay, Favaloro is not fine for me. I, and so I came to uh, René Favaloro, and he gave him the lecture on, on the aorto coronary bypass, what impressed you. And since then, we became very good friends with René Favaloro. And uh, after that, I organized, uh, as you know, the international uh, uh, innate International Union of Angiology Congress was very success uh, with a spectacular well, opening in there. Yeah, we won. And then in, in <laughs> 81, the International Cardiovascular Society. Yeah. And we if, won't mention any country, but... In, uh, in 1985, yeah. the International Congress with yeah. many personalities. Among them was the, the senior Chinese cardiovascular professor Wu, uh, Pe professor Petrovsky, yeah. the professor, and many others, many other congress. <laughs> and I try to bring personalities because this was very good for Greece. Well, and when you had the opening ceremonies, you emphasized to us what uh, Lord Byron had said, that oh, we're all yeah. Greeks. Oh, yeah. And yes. uh, you uh, really uh, brought that to uh, uh, everybody. Uh, and actually, we, uh, we took advantage of the places, <laughs> right. as you know. And uh, the Herodotus of Atticus, this famous ancient theater on the foot of Acropolis, it was very impressive to have the open ceremony because all the people I appreciate the ancient uh, Greek civilization. So they thought very, very happy and very emotional to be there. And, uh, well, as you know, we do have Roger uh, Gregory with us as a past president of the uh, Michael E. DeBakey International Surgical yeah. Society. Uh, he was. Uh, had that responsibility 10 years ago, so it's yeah. still alive and well. It just met yeah. in Houston, as you know. I got and, the idea from Cooley, the Becky, Cooley Society had before. So I went, uh, I went to, to the Becky sister, uh, Louise and uh, uh, Selma, and I told, is there any the Becky Society to honor? He said, no. And so Louise said, why tags don't you take the initiative to organize? I said, okay. Well, I came back, please give me the list of the fellows, a thousand of them, I you could communicate. <laughs> and another reason, in order to promote this idea, I took an absence of six weeks, two months from the university, uh, and I visited all the, all the South American countries. And meeting the fellows, the previous fellows, <laughs> in Caracas, in. Uh, everywhere, and so I in introduce I <laughs> into the idea, so we establish a society. You know, you mentioned the International Union of Angiology. Angiology is a specialty that we don't really appreciate uh, in the United States like you do in Europe. Please tell us a little bit about your relationship with the International Union of Angiology. Yeah, I joined uh, this uh, International Union of Angiology was established by a French group in uh, 54. In the beginning, it was also involved Leris, and later on, they separated, they make the cardiovascular, mm -hmm. and they, lo they left angiology to, to some practitioners, some phlebologists, and so forth. So I met this, I joined the society in, uh, in uh, 64 in Paris during the Congress, and so I, slow involve, and I proposed to them to organize a congress in 80. Uh, at that time in the, in the, in the Constitution, it was written that the, the person who organized a congress, the national, would be the, the president of the So I became in Athens the president of the union, and so I, I thought I had to reorganize it to make more international, uh, more open, no right. French-minded, right. with the dominant language French. So I try and uh, we, we accomplish, uh, we 
we prepare an, an, a new constitution in spite of the reaction of the, of the Greek, of the French representative who, who like, would like to keep a French. Yeah. So I had the support of other people and so it became international. And the next step was to have a new journal. The society has as its official journal and uh, uh, Francais and geology, something like that. So I say no, international geology. Uh, well, only English it was a lot of reaction for French speaking because English is international language, so we pass it. And this decision was taken in the Mayo Clinic in 83 when we have an international council on geology. And it was very supportive. John Seffer, the dean of medical school at Mayo, yeah. and the other people. Grovisky was not there, it was uh, young people at that time. So we established this journal and it became international. I put in the faculty, in the editorial board, represented for all the countries. And the philosophy was not to be only excellent, to accept the excellent papers, but the philosophy was to, to receive papers, even no good quality, from all over the countries from Bulgaria, Romania, because to, to have re reflection what is going on in these countries. Yeah. And for the first time, uh, we have the Russian issue, yeah. edited by Petrovsky. Mm -hmm. And he was very grateful because he said, first time they invite us to present this because of the, you know, the Cold War sure. and it was very sure. fixed. So, uh, I try to, to advance this international meaning. And for this reason, in spite of the, that my, uh, politically I belong to the right side, always, traditionally. But in spite of this, I try to have relation with every, in all the spectrum, with the Russians during the Cold War, in, with Chinese. I was the first uh, Greek to visit uh, China, even, yeah of the few for Europeans. Sure. Sure. This it was in 60, in 66, uh, in 76, yeah. actually. Well, you had to be proud of your effort uh, because the uh, International Union of Angiology meeting in Athens in 2008 was one of the most successful uh, meetings of that organization. Yeah. And yeah. It impressed many of us who uh, had been before, but uh, again, your yeah. organization was just superb. and. You know, let me also say for the record that uh, we've appreciated your efforts to involve those who have little representation or no representation. And I can remember over the years, you always went out of your way to make sure that I met the doctor from Bulgaria or oh, yeah. the doctor oh, yeah. uh, yes. from uh, Russia. I uh, try, I try <laughs> hard to, to introduce this because yeah. these people, because of the political situation, was unprivileged actually. Yeah. So we tried to give and to be very friendly, even to cover their expenses. We, uh, my idea was that uh, you have to be very friendly. In order, to, in order to develop the field, you have to, to, to have friendly relations with the people. I mean, it's, this was the idea. And so yeah. we, ha we, we have a warm hum. Right. I mean, to Do you think some of this came from Dr. DeBakey? Do you think that your time with him and developing oh, yeah. the international... Because the Becky, yeah. he has this mentality, was international-minded. Yeah. He, he told me many times, because he liked me very much, and uh, he told me that uh, I tried to help all these people. Yeah. The Russians, he opened the way, right. and all these South Americans and, uh, and Asians. Yeah. I opened the way to Asia and to... The, with the Japanese, we had very good relations. And uh, so I visited China seven times. Yeah. And uh, I was very friendly. I met the Minister of Public Health. And I have to, to, to tell you that uh, to my, uh, I asked the, the Minister of Public Health of China to send for the first time uh, Chinese cardiovascular people to to American Cardiovascular Congress in San Francisco yeah. in uh, 70, uh, 79, I think 79, it was international, yeah. in San Francisco. 
Yeah. And she told me, Professor Balas, we trust you. We are good. Right. You are a very good friend of China. I sent send three of them. Yeah. Chen, who was the, the man who, the implantation, Wu, and another thing. There are certain things that we always remember. One the almost surreal experience, I think, was with you when you took us to uh, Palio Castritsis on Corfu. And we looked at the uh, setting sense, sunset over the Ionian yeah. Sea with the monks and a glass and of wine under the Bougainvillea. And you had a dinner with the bishop. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> and also I will remind you, because always I try to give some uh, uh, importance to the meetings, and so I organize at the end of the meeting, international meetings, visit to Kos, yes. to, to visit the Hippocra Hippocrates. Oh. <laughs> you remember in one of these visits, we went, it was a Gogresi Roads, and from there we go by boat, Yes. and uh, we took, uh, we visit Asclepion of uh, Hippocrates, and we took a picture that is in the, in the, in the, yeah. in the city. And, uh, we're sitting on the marbles. Right. <laughs> you, Vith, uh, Giorgio Biazzi. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, Ralph De Palma, I think. Palma. <laughs> yeah. no, it was very, very, very interesting. Very well. uh, interesting. You know, they really turned out uh, yeah. the support for you on COS. We know that, it was too. We try always to have very friendly relations, yeah. to be in friendly atmosphere, to promote this. And uh, this is the... The, the treasure for me is that uh, through the years I became, I, I, I have many, many friends all over the world, and yeah. especially the United States, and I have to come back many years earlier. And always I remember Professor Yao, for <laughs> me, was my hero. Because I have to mention that uh, I met uh, uh, Professor Yao, do you believe one? In 64. 64. When, when uh, Professor Yao was in the small non-invasive lab, uh, Irvin. Irvin was my good friend because I met him in Houston when I was a fellow. Irvin visited uh, Houston before taking, ta taking charge of the, of the chair, was appointed and he decided to spend three years, three months going around to the medical centers. He stopped, and uh, of course, uh, people didn't treat him very well, especially Stanley Crawford, who was very difficult with the foreigners. And when I visited with him, he said, uh, Dr. Bash, I would like to see you. We have a very nice man and a young man who run a laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> so I went, and what, what I was impressed Jim, at that time, make the ankle brachial index. Yeah. Right. It was a breakthrough, you yes. know. Surely. So when I came back, <laughs> uh, I, I correspond with Parker, <laughs> you know, <Thank> you. <laughs> Parker. I say, Mr. Parker, I would like to have uh, this, uh, this uh, 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 ultrasonic uh, probe Say, we have not enough. We, I gave to Professor Yao and Dr. Yao. So please, so after a few months, he wrote me, okay, I have one, I have some, I'm coming to Europe to introduce. <laughs> so he stopped to Athens to heal the hotel. <laughs> he gave me, and I started a lot of work. It was really the first thing in Greece. Yeah. It's so impressive, I gave the lectures to the to the to the students, and I brought the do you know, and uh, like professor, put the patient and put him. Shh, shh, <laughs> was impressed well. because they hear the <laughs> the, the, the the flow. We would appreciate so, Dr. Yao uh, yeah, commenting at this point, very, please. Very. Well, <laughs> this wonderful to this see was you. probably his first and very big contribution, and you know how how many. People uh, took advantage yeah. of this. So I, I'm very grateful, uh, Jim, because I meet you after so many years. I have to mention that it was one very important. And also, I have this with me because at the time they called me in many cities in the, to see consultation. They have with me all the way. Uh, <laughs> exam and they make a lot of work. We make a, a, a work on, lean, on collagen diseases, on Raynaud's syndrome. 
and I used to do select angry blocks. Uh, before and the, we we trace with the probe the arterial flow in the digital. We make some pictures and then before and you see after the select ganglion blow, you see increase the flow. And sh 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 it was tremendous. very improbable, very simple. Very, so I try to promote also be, besides of the vascular surgery and angiology too. And I develop uh, capillaroscopy also. We have wonderful films on capillaroscopy function. I tried because I thought it was very important in parallel to go angiology, uh, medical angiology, and vascular surgery too. Sure. It was nice to see you again. We met in St. Mary Hospital. Oh, uh, yeah, yes. You yes. came over to, <laughs> to Professor Irwin. Yeah, 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 yeah. You remember yeah. him. Yeah, yes. And I would like to uh, ask you about the European history in vascular surgery. Yes. This is the book I, you wrote a beautiful chapter. Yes. The chapter is absolutely wonderful. Oh, thank you. Thank Emphasize you thank you. about the contribution of European vascular surgery. Yes, I try to yeah, collect Could you tell us a little bit more on the European history? Uh, actually, as you know, Vascular, the study of vascular disease starts from the ancient Greece, actually. Hippocrates, yeah. if you have the chance to, to read the original text, actually. Uh, my, my father bought lit, lit, Litre. There is a 10 volume uh, uh, oeuvre de, de Pocrat. It's written in France in, 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 in the original Greek. It's very impressive the, 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 the way that he described uh, venous disease, uh, art, uh, vascular disease. And also all the others of the Galilean, Galinga, uh, others. Uh, so it was a lot of uh, tradition. And also in Europe they developed uh, vascular, the, the study of vascular disease, actually. And, uh, and uh, in the 20th centuries, 20th, 20th century, uh, the contribution of the French school was great, actually. Leris was a wise man, and uh, he conceived of all the ideas. Even he conceived uh, the idea to treat Leris syndrome by excise, the, the, the aortic bifurcation. By that time, there was not available a substitute. Well, you know, if I may and, uh, uh, just comment about that uh, famous picture we've already alluded to. Yeah, in that picture, yeah. as you'll remember, is John Kuhnlin, another uh, Frenchman uh, but, uh, yes. who was responsible yes. for it uh, was in this picture. It was Kuhnlin who performed the first femoropopletia right. bypass. It was Sido Santos, right. the teacher of uh, of uh, our friend, uh, uh, and uh, was. Uh, uh, Another, uh, the Becky Fontaine, yes, Fontaine. Uh, the successor of the, yeah. all the uh, all the the people who later uh, developed the candies. And the Becky was very grateful to Leris, and he oh. mentioned very often actually. And so actually, uh, from Europe, brought the, the 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 development everywhere. And for this reason, I, I wrote a paper, a prominent American vascular surgeon born in, in Europe. <laughs> there is a connection between the European uh, uh, vascular surgery and uh, the American. They brought to the, to the United States and then from the United States they broke because this became famous as, uh, for example, the Takats. Yeah, sure. was a famous, sure. was born. And so he brought back the knowledge. And uh, Rob was uh, English, he was developed, and he, and there are many, many of these. I just thought it was very interesting to, to write and to see this Glowiski and the, from the, the, the youngest. But there are about 20, I think, uh, a lot of, of things that, so there is bringing back the light. Another very, very important contribution of the American surgery after the war, World War II, where it was that they trained hundreds, hundreds, hundreds 
of Euro young Europeans to vascular surgery. And uh, today, in the, the past 20 years, all the prominent vascular, cardiovascular surgeons in Europe had training in the United States, at least 90, 95%. If you look, everybody right. has it, even the, even the, the English, they, they felt, uh, they thought that it was obligatory to spend a year in the United States in order to come back and to be qualified to get a position. Yeah. So it's very important, the contribution of the American surgery. So personally, uh, I believe and many others are very grateful to our American teachers. They gave us the opportunity to study, otherwise it was not possible. Please, John. Well, you did mention about Gaysa detectors, and you also mentioned Chris Sering from from his country to America. Yeah. And you also mentioned me was in St. Mary and came yes. over here. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, yes. Th that's a very good chapter. I, yeah. I enjoy reading it. Yeah. Uh, and congratulations. Yeah, yeah, it's thank you. Very yes. scholarly done. Yeah. The last years after I slowed down uh, my practice, I thought it was nice to write some uh, historical data. Right. So, and uh, when they invite me, I gave lectures on this. I said, I have no now um, any more experience, clinical, so I try to give some uh, historical data. And, uh, Even in endovascular surgery, the yeah. Europe have a lot of contribution. And also, I have to mention that uh, uh, it's not egoistic, but I have to tell the, and uh, in uh, 19, uh, 1995 something, I don't remember exactly, I met Criado. He was um, in a meeting of the, American, of the International Union of Angiology in Paris. I said, uh, Dr. Criado, uh, what do you think to organize a site of vascular surgery? Why don't you speak with uh, Ted Dietrich? Because with Ted we were together, fellow in the, in the, in the, in the, in, the, in the Houston in '67. I uh, say so it's a good idea. I will tell. So when he came back, called uh, Ted. He said, "I met Takis Ballas," and he said, "And uh, Ted was hesitant. He said, oh, another society, very different, so far. And finally, <laughs> they decided. And after a few months, we met in. Uh, in, uh, in Toulouse and to establish the, the Society of Endovascular Surgery. And it's very interesting from the historical point of view that Vith conceived the idea to establish endovascular society. And, but he was left behind because it was one week <laughs> later we already uh, the, the Dietrich uh, put in the notary, I don't know how it is, yeah. the name. Right. So after that, it was not possible to replicate, duplicate. <laughs> so we, de we decided and uh, we organized. And uh, in the first uh, executive board, I was vice president, actually. And, uh, yeah. and uh, also introduced the vascular surgery in Greece in 1996. We did the first uh, endovascular uh, treatment of uh, triple A, actually. Yeah. You know, uh, we've talked about uh, writing and uh, your writing. You've been an editor, particularly of the uh, International Angiology. How do you look at the various uh, journals today, and particularly our Journal of Vascular Surgery? Uh, what's your opinion of uh, that journal, and uh, would you encourage your young people to submit to the Journal of Vascular Surgery? Yeah, it, I think it's the, it's the Bible, actually. Yeah. I like very much, and uh, I, I read it because uh, uh, I receive complimentary issues, and I always uh, read with... Uh, and I'm very astonished with the accomplishment, and... Uh, uh, and uh, I mean, young people doing these um, magnificent operations and all this data, and well, uh, good written and with. I, I, I'm, I'm impressed actually. I don't read any more other American journals I used to do, but exclusively because it's uh, still my interest in 
vascular surgery, yeah. even if no practice. Please, John. How about contribution from Russia in vascular surgery? We seem to be not know much about Russia, especially yeah. when you talk about endovascular yeah. graft. They say, you know, they are the first one in it. I think that uh, what I can say that it's, uh, it was uh, from Kiev, from Ukraine, mm -hmm. uh, who, who present the first and arterial stenting. And this man was participating in 85 in, uh, in, in our Congress in Athens. And he present this paper. But because of his bad English, and very bad slides, we did not pay a lot of attention, we just uh, overlook this. Then later, we are, uh, I realized that, that this was a man, and was a pioneer, and also another pioneer who was, uh, he was academician, professor of uh, radiology in the uh, Old Union uh, Research Institute in Moscow, and uh, who put the they put a cover stent in the iliac artery. But, uh, he didn't speak any English, and so he didn't publish this, and he didn't come to, he was invited by Dietrich later on, but he, did, he was not able to speak any. And this was very important because he was an advisor for the station, the space, and uh, so this, I think, it was a, the, and this man had received support from the engineers who were for the space, uh, I mean, high technology in order to develop this. Uh, but it was not very popularized, actually. Yeah. But another important contribution to the Russian is the implantation. Yeah. The implantation digits, and this is a Krilov, you met Krilov, huh? Yes. Uh, sure. This is a really excellent work, uh, this yeah. pioneer. And another, uh, another important man, uh, Janker. Janker is uh, 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 who was uh, assistant to Krilov, and then he has a two years fellowship to the United States to to, to the Becky, and uh, he was in uh, Anatoly Prokoski. Uh, oh no, Prokoski is an older one. No. He is uh, I forgot the name. Yeah. Very young man, and he know he 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 developed. Uh, Chasov. Chasov was uh, a professor of cardiology who developed uh, uh, cetrokinase, the first he used in, uh, in myocardial infarction, uh, Chasov. And he was with a, a physician for against the war. And he sp split a Nobel Prize with an American physician, I don't remember, from Boston, from Mass General. Some, there are two of them, split. And this Sasov uh, became uh, a Minister of Public Health, and he gave, they gave to him a lot of money. They, they, all the, the workers in the, in the, in the USA, in the, in the Russian, if, in the Soviet Union, they gave one uh, day salary to collect the money. With this money, they built a very important cardiovascular institute. And uh, Tsasov was the director right. of this. Uh, yeah. And I invite him in Rhodes in one of the congresses. Right. Tsasov. You have said you have visited hundreds of some medical centers. Yeah, I they will tell you. I will tell you also a story about the. In, uh, in one of the congresses in Athens, I think in 1985, uh, I was invited to the Beike, uh, Vu from China, and. Uh, uh, Petrovsky. Petrovsky was a past, pre past minister of, 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 uh, of Brezhnev. And he was the chief medical officer during the invasion of Hungary, of the Soviet Union. He was very famous. So he was sitting, and to Vu was, didn't speak to, to, to Petrovsky, because he has host. And uh, uh, the Beki, put them to speak again, actually, and uh, so it's very interesting. <laughs> uh.
mentorship is very important. Can you tell us your mentor who guide you in your career? Actually, my, my Greek mentor was Professor Christeas. Uh, I don't like them, and now it's, uh, I respect his memory, and uh, he did help me a lot. At that time, the Greek professors were like gods, <laughs> not interesting. <laughs> so you know, we try to find ourselves the way. The, the real mentor for me uh, was the Beike. The Beike liked me very much, he appreciated, he told me, he, his, his sister told me that is the only man to thought to make. And during uh, one uh, Thanksgiving dinner, I was in Houston and he invited me to his house. And in this uh, the dinner was uh, the baker, his wife, the, the, the president of the Baylor, and uh, one of his sons. At the end of the, of, the, of the lunch, he said to the president, I don't remember his name, you know that Takis Balas is one of my son. <laughs> I love him. Yeah. And I, I cried, and, yeah. you know, I felt yeah. it. And he liked me very much, actually. It's, and for this reason, I, and also you will see in this, I gave a lecture on memorial for the Baker in uh, Biazi's Congress in Memorial, and I, I, I pick up, and I have a lot of pictures you will find, uh, Jim, in this, uh, in the Memorial from when he was baby until the, uh, so it's very interesting, probably somewhere to be published in this. I think you will find this very interesting. In some day when there is some memorials of the important people, you can take this because I collect uh, unpublished papers from his private files. Uh, it is not available, actually. And, uh, and also, it's very important in order to see to, because the, the pupils have to be grateful to the teachers. This is the fundamental. It was a Greek, Hippocratic, uh, yeah. Hippocrates said in the old history. So I felt very deeply and also I was very grateful to the Baker to Kule, all these things. And uh, so, uh, during one of the, uh, uh, the Baker's Congress in Houston, uh, no, when the Baker was in Greece, during the, uh, the, the Congress, I brought him to a sculptor, a famous one. It was a famous uh, Greek, obviously, who was a member of the French Academy, very famous. And I said, Dr. Baker, I'd like to take, uh, to have your hands to, say, okay. We went to the house of the artist and he put in the plaster for an hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I say, I'm sorry. No, 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 it's all right, he liked this. So he came up with a very nice bronze hand. And I have three of these. One I kept for myself, I have in my files. I told my daughter, this is, this is, uh, I want to keep for your life. <laughs> uh, one, the Minister of Public Health, and the other, the Becky. So, in, uh, in the next meeting uh, in Houston, I had the hand with me. And we have the dinner of the executive board. It was also uh, a French professor of, uh, there are, and then at the end, I said, uh, Dr. Becky, uh, when I was a fellow, I remember that you always complain that, God damn it, if I have a third head, I do <laughs> the surgery myself. I don't need you stupid. Say. And so it's time to give you the third hand. <laughs> I gave you. Everybody was laughing at <laughs> it. It was very nice standing this. And uh, so he took, and then I, I, I followed him to his car, said, Dr. Baker, to help you today. No, no, I said, I, will. I was looking for a long time <laughs> for this hand. <laughs> All these tricks, you know, uh, because uh, 
I felt so grateful, you know, to him to, to live an unknown person, unknown, without any recommendation, and to go to work and to, to be close to him and through the years to become, uh, have, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, I feel uh, but you know, you very have, emotional. Very you very have emotional. also uh, passed that on to many who have followed you. And as uh, Dr. DeBakey is your mentor, you've been a mentor to many people in Greece. And uh, Elias Pistones and uh, yes, uh, yes. Manos Pikoulis and yes. a number of people we can think uh, of. Yes, uh, many of them. You have to be proud of them, too. Uh, uh, yes, I, I do. I am. And also I established vascular society in Greece in order to and the whole society in order to, to help with this and to, well, to channel them. You are the father of all Westeros. Uh, because of the age. <laughs> what <laughs> would you tell the young surgeon now? What, what would be your advice? Uh, actually, they don't ask my advice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is not complain. It's, it's very interesting with the young people. They don't appreciate. And uh, you imagine that... Uh, the organized congress of the uh, learning uh, society of Asia said it, and they don't give me a special invitation. <laughs> so, disappointing. Yeah. But I think it's the mentality of the young people. Sure. They found, the, the, the reason is they found ready everything. They don't appreciate that many people were hard to do these things. And with the economic yeah. challenges in Greece in recent years, has there been uh, any talk about limiting the oh, endovascular yes. devices? Oh, oh, yes, yes. There is a limitation, yeah, yes. Yeah. There is a limitation. There is a limitation. Well, Can you think of more? anything else? Yeah. Dr. Gregory, uh, you have been very quiet down there. Do you have any questions for Professor Ballas? I would just appreciate you coming, and uh, it's been an excellent interview. I feel like a brother with you because you, you were training me in Houston. <laughs> we are. Well, we thank you for coming. Uh, it's yeah. a, it's an honor for me. Yeah. I really appreciate it. It's an honor for uh, and uh, a great pleasure because I met uh, very good friends, Jim, for almost. 50 years now. Yeah. I yeah. don't remember how Long many. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and. Uh, Norman was very supportive for all my to all my efforts. Yeah. So I'm very grateful and very grateful and very grateful to Dr. Well, Norman is our oh. Mr. History. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> he supported every when I had to do something. I had to to be. Uh, he advised me, helped me, and uh, yeah. brought people and was always present in the front line and. <laughs> I'm very grateful and to, to Lois because yeah. of the hospitality and yeah. uh, I feel so, so close with yeah. the American yeah. friends. So it's Thank you again. I, I feel Thank belonging to the, to, the, to the great family American. Uh, <laughs> Thank uh, you again, Tom. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm very grateful. <laughs>